Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and it's my pleasure to participate on this uh, kickoff for the IEEE Smart Cities Initiative in Casablanca. And uh, my name is Victor Larios. I am an IEEE volunteer and local leader for the Guadalajara Smart Cities Initiative. I am a professor at the University of Guadalajara, and I have the honor to present to you uh, the experiences that we have at Guadalajara as an IEEE core smart city. So the program is divided in two main parts, a very brief. First, we will discuss about the Guadalajara ecosystem and why it was selected as, as a smart city. And the second is to show the activities and, and the things that we have been doing uh, for the IEEE Smart Cities initiative. So first, I want to show that uh, Guadalajara is uh, what we call the Silicon Valley of Mexico. So we hold about 120,000 uh, people working on this uh, high technology ecosystem. And we can divide in the left, we have the supporting organizations. Uh, IEEE is one of the most important, but it, it deals also with the industry chambers and also uh, with uh, associations that we have uh, with the government to support the technology development. It was at the beginning for manufacturing, but now it's very, very related to software and other high technologies uh, proposed. And then we have uh, uh, many educational institutions on, 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 on the right. And these institutions uh, represent about 150,000 students uh, that are dealing in 20 universities mainly, some private, other public universities uh, for the ecosystems. And then, just to show, we have the University of Guadalajara, where we signed the contract for IEEE and where I belong. Uh, this university holds about uh, 109,000 uh, uh, students at the bachelor degree, and uh, also uh, a big population of 241,744 for, for the full ecosystem that we have, because we hold the, the high school also. So that's why we have this pool of talent. And in this case, uh, we have uh, that uh, Guadalajara was selected because we have a concrete plan from the government to develop in the downtown the smart city. Then we have a big capacity of people working and then the compromise from IEEE volunteers from a long time. And also we have this high ecosystem and we will see more about the project of Guadalajara in the next video. Mexico is a country full of natural, cultural, and economic vitality. The very best of Mexico can be found in Guadalajara, Jalisco, where history and tradition exist in harmony with all the features of a modern, forward-looking city. These reasons, plus the presence of a highly creative and motivated workforce, are why Guadalajara was chosen as the site for Ciudad Creativa Digital. Ciudad Creativa Digital will provide Jalisco's capital city with new infrastructure and form a central hub for creative industries already present in the state while also offering international companies a rich pool of local talent. Here, a vast range of multimedia and digital technology firms including cinema, television, video gaming, digital animation, interactive media, mobile application and internet producers will share one common location. These industries boast some of the highest growth rates to be found in Latin America or anywhere in the world, with annual sales of more than $1.5 trillion. Ciudad Creativa Digital will help position Mexico internationally as a leading creative production center and the most important business cluster of its kind in the Spanish-speaking world. This initiative will turbocharge the growth of an entire ecosystem of existing industries in Jalisco. It will also forge links between educational, artistic, and cultural sectors and the rest of society in an atmosphere of sustainability, economic self-sufficiency, and community integration. The entire project will be built from a master plan designed by Carlo Ratti and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, in collaboration with Accenture, Arab, Mobility and Chain, Fundación Metrópoli, and FM Studio. This master plan will ensure a harmonious relationship between social, economic, logistic, and environmental aspects of the city. This balanced vision has prompted Mexico's federal government to designate Ciudad Creativa Digital as a certified development project. 
This certification is based on an urban mosaic strategy in which a number of districts with diverse identities and functions join forces to create a colorful and fascinating gallery of urban and architectural venues. The Urban Mosaic will comprise seven renewal projects executed in and around the city's historic center. The projects are the Digital Hub, the Design Hub, the Monumental Hub, the Alcalde Hub, the Independencia Eco Boulevard, the Health Hub, and La Perla San Juan de Dios Eco City. The Mosaic's main node will be the Digital Hub, where Ciudad Creativa will be developed. Morelos Park, located in the city center and one of Guadalajara's most iconic and traditional locations, has been chosen as a site for this component of the project. Ciudad Creativa Digital will be developed in three phases. Phase one consists of catalyst projects to be rolled out over a three-year period. Phase two covers the fourth to the seventh years and entails project development on property held in trust. Phase three will be implemented from the eighth year onwards and involve new projects that mark the full consolidation of Ciudad Creativa Digital. The first phase is already underway and includes some of the following catalyst projects. One, the Creative Complex and Pedestrian Corridor, the first Ciudad Creativa Digital project to be undertaken, will house the productive sector, drive local businesses, and host a variety of international companies. The pedestrian corridor will be an extension of Paseo Alameda and connect with Morelos Park. Two, the renovation and expansion of Morelos Park will better its appearance, enhance its historic appeal, and improve its facilities. The renovated park will house an informative and interactive pavilion that will promote the philosophy, benefits, and services of Ciudad Creativa Digital. Three, Campus Ingenium will foster participation, education, and entrepreneurship within the industry. It will serve as a platform to stimulate young talent, attract private investment, and promote the training of new professionals in the sector. Four, the Paseo Alameda and Multi-Level Bridge project is planned as a long pedestrian corridor connecting Morelos Park, Plaza Tapatia, and all key buildings for this phase of the project. Five, the Center for Digital and Audiovisual Arts will serve as a platform for the exchange of knowledge both locally and internationally. It will include areas where talented young people can display their work and gain access to major creative industry markets. Six, Block 11. The project's first building to be built mainly from private investment will interact dynamically with public spaces. Ciudad Creativa Digital is made possible thanks to partnerships between government agencies, private initiative, universities, civil society organizations, and citizens. This historic project will bring countless benefits to Mexico, Jalisco, and Guadalajara. It will create more than 15,000 jobs over the next 20 years, help to repopulate the downtown area and energize local businesses. It will also serve as a model for sustainable urban development that delivers modern infrastructure, improved mobility systems, and quality public services that are in balance with the environment. But above everything else, Ciudad Creativa Digital will be a place for the people, a place to work, develop knowledge and talent, learn new technologies, and improve their quality of life. All of this defines Guadalajara Ciudad Creativa Digital, a place to learn, create, and share. So let's uh, talk about uh, what we have done with the, the core programs for the Smart Cities Initiative. So, uh, in the next slide, we have the different cities that have been selected. Guadalajara was the first in 2013. But the main point is that we don't want to reinvent the wheel. And the idea of these core cities is to share experiences, since every city has a speciality and different challenges that can help other cities in, in the world. So this will be uh, like reference models. So we started uh, the first kickoff in October uh, 13. Uh, we merged people from the industry, from the academia, and experts that were selected for the, for the smart cities. And so we have the next pictures of the results. And then we have different working groups that were created to work in this workshop. 
This is how we were organized from the physical infrastructure, the Internet of Things, the open data framework, the data analytics and visualization, the metrics for smart cities, and the education for smart cities. Metrics is one of the core specialties for Guadalajara. And from these working groups, we were uh, developing some roadmaps that were in complement with the master plan that we have for the city for 18 years. And from these roadmaps, we are working, meeting frequently with the working groups, the different working groups, and developing white papers. Until now, you can visit the smartcitiesitereplay.org uh, site where you can download some of, of the white papers that we produce it. And also what we're doing is uh, encouraging students to, to participate because it's our future talent that will be developing the smart city. And for that, uh, we have a grant that we offer it for the students. Uh, we have some of, of them uh, participating in the different working groups. They empower us and, and they support the core activities that we have for, for the initiative in Guadalajara. Also, we were preparing um, MOOCs, the massive open online uh, courses that are hosted in the EDX platform from MIT and Harvard. Uh, and the first was uh, launched on the past year uh, for metrics and we're working to close another more for IoT, uh, data analytics and open data framework, which we consider that are some of the parts as introduction for, for smart cities and the interest of the government and, and to develop the local talent. Uh, for the metrics, we uh, reach an enrollment of 7,552 people, uh, more than 149 countries participating. And also uh, the structure that we selected for that, uh, we put in a frame of four weeks. Uh, we have lessons every week, one per day, one uh, test or exam uh, or a quiz uh, to, to validate that each week was a uh, progress. And then we put videos, learning objects, uh, uh, document lectures, uh, uh, quizzes, handbooks, and all are running. And we have in this picture uh, the team that were working for this, uh, supporting this uh, MOOC on, on metrics that we expect to, to start again for the IoT that is in progress to, to, to be finished. We hosted also the first IEEE Smart Cities Conference, which was in Guadalajara by the end of October. Uh, at the same time that Patricia was uh, running, and even Patricia couldn't stop, uh, the, 50, the 533 attendees, uh, 100 were for a, for a um, hackathon that we run in parallel. And uh, it was a big participation from 46 countries, a lot of experience shared, and uh, a very, very uh, good team. So this is a picture about uh, some of the participants at the end of, of, of the conference, many of the, of the organizations, all our internationals in the last day. And then what we're doing is a, a hackathon that we're running uh, every semester, an edition. This hackathon is uh, now well known in the community, sponsored by the industry, the government, and it focused to, to identify talent working for the smart city, we bring prices, and then they are, uh, uh, working on developing mobile applications uh, and other challenges for Internet of Things and other uh, things that we uh, believe that are very important to, to bring solutions for the smart city. So thank you very much and I am open for any question.